Hey everybody, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com here in San Diego, California. So if you've been watching my channel, I'm sure you've seen all the different side stands or kick stands, whatever you want to call them, available for the Vespas. Uh, say you got a brand new Liberty 50 or Liberty 150 and you're just tired of every time you park it, putting it up on the center stand. Um, but the center stand definitely is the most stable stand and it's a very good service stand as I call it because you could remove the rear tire pretty easily. It's also, you could start the scooter on it, but oftentimes you want a much more convenient solution for um, parking the scooter. So I'm gonna show you all the steps on how to install the original Piaggio side stand. And the best part of it is it has an integral safety switch, so it's, you're not likely to ride off with it down because that could be a very dangerous situation. So. Nice and easy to use. You can see it turns the motor off if it's down and you get right on the scooter and right, kick it up and right off. Much easier to take off with versus the center stand where you need to usually be off the scooter and push it off the stand, you know, like such. So let's get right to it. I'll show you the tools needed to install this and we'll go from there. All right, so before we start this job, I would call this like an intermediate level job. It's not a definite beginner one. It does take some uh, working in some real confined spaces with the hardware, um, but definitely want to be set up for success and have all the right tools. So an important tool that you're going to need is a spring puller. We have these available on the Scooter West uh, web store, and it's for pulling exhaust springs on aftermarket exhaust, and it also works for the side stands. Um, the springs on those, or even a center sand spring. You need a, a, a four and a five millimeter Allen driver. It can be just the basic L-shaped ones. A longer number two Phillips screwdriver. I have some various picks. These are kind of longer ones that work pretty good. Um, pretty nice mechanic picks, so always have those. Um, this is a very shallow right angle screwdriver, it has a ratchet in it. There's other ways to do this. Without that, you do have to dismantle the scooter much further if you don't have this tool. A uh, pair of needle nose pliers, uh, the plastic trim tools for prying things apart, uh, tool trim, we have these on the Scooter West web, web store. It's like a whole assortment of five of them. A T25 and a T30 Torx driver, and I also found the magnet for retrieving screws I lose is sometimes handy. All right, so let's get started. I suggest just watching this video all the way through before um, attempting it versus watching this step-by-step -step while trying to do it. It's kind of a longer video for something that's fairly simple to install, but has got some tricks to successfully installing. All right, so the first step to getting this side stand kit installed is removing the plastic panel that's from the underside of the floorboard on the rear left side of the floorboard. So <coughs> the left side being if you're sitting on the scooter and if you look underneath the scooter and crawl under there, you're gonna see some screws and they're only present on the one side because the right side, it's just all molded. Uh, this side, the left has a panel that will remove. So you can have a pair of screws that will remove out and you can just like what I'm using, I'm using a really long screwdriver. It actually works the best. And then there's one hidden behind this bracket here too. So a little bit tricky if you don't know where you're looking, but go ahead and remove those screws. So got those two screws. So to remove this panel, there's more hidden screws that are difficult to uh, gain access to. Uh, you could get a real shallow ratcheting Phillips screwdriver kit like this. To do it, that's the way we do it in the shop. Unfortunately, if you don't have something like this, you need to dismantle almost the whole entire rear of the scooter, including the floorboard, to get you know, access to the floorboard underside to get to these screws. So you can kind of feel around, and there's you know, a couple more, I think there's two more of those screws. Um, if you're real uh, medieval with it, you can just break the part off too. But uh, I wouldn't recommend it. You wanna crack the floorboard plastic and just keep on feeling along. And there's gonna be one screw right about here. And I think that might be it. That one's gonna be 
the most difficult and tight access screw. You know, so I'm flexing the floorboard out, I'm able to get this uh, right angle screwdriver in there, which is a real shallow right angle screwdriver. And there we go. So the screw had to last a little bit. So you can see one, two, three, four screws. Um, now that you have this out of the way, you can see the little loop where the side stand will go. And there's also the bracket further up in there that the, the side stand safety switch will be installed on. So go ahead and take the Scooter West LT10, that's our internal part number, for the complete original Piaggio side stand kit. And let's open that up. I'll show you the goodies that are included. So you got a side stand safety switch, you got the side stand itself, and you got a packet of hardware here. So there's quite a few bits of hardware. Go ahead and open that up and we'll kind of go over the hardware that's included. So you have a pair of O-rings, you got a large spring. And if you see, there's the part numbers on the bags for the spring. Uh, if you ever need to reorder a spring like it was missing or broke, and you store that 1C001458 for a replacement spring. You got this pair of five millimeter Allen screws that retains your switch. You put the washers on there. And then you have the pivot bolt. So we'll start by rolling these O-rings onto this pivot bolt. That seals in a small amount of grease that lubricates the, um, the pivot for your side stand. So just roll those right on, no big deal there. And next you have the side stand itself. And I think you get the idea of how that works. It's pretty much bolts there, it's kicked up and then it will come down and it has the safety switch that will shut the scooter off when, when the, the position is down. You wanna have some grease handy and I recommend the Maxima waterproof grease, Scooter West part number grease. Let's take your pivot bolt and go ahead and just grease this all the way around. Alternately, you could pull that off and add some grease in there as well. Too much isn't gonna hurt, just make a little bit of a mess if you have too much of it. And go ahead and line the bolt up. You pretty much line the hole with the frame up. So you need a five millimeter Allen key. Go ahead and you could just use the speed end to drive it home. And then take your, the short end, stick it in there and go ahead and tighten that up. And now it's a nice smooth action right there. Next, you wanna take the spring for the side stand. I recommend putting a small amount of grease on that upper hook. You know, it's got the longer section of the shaft. Up right above the pivot is the part where the, the spring hooks onto. And you do wanna have the, maybe you have a friend hold the, the side stand up, you know, and be careful not to pull the scooter or drag the scooter around. Kind of like what I'm doing here. And it takes quite a bit of force to get this hooked on. So you need to have like a spring tool like this. This is exhaust spring tool for mufflers on motorcycles and go ahead and hook it onto that. So you want to be wearing safety glasses for that. If that spring uh, goes flying. So the mechanical part of the center stand or side stand has been installed. You can see it works perfect. It, it snaps down and I highly recommend putting the safety switch on next. All right, so I have my side stand safety switch. It is possible to complete this install without the safety switch. I do not recommend that because if you go riding off with the side stand down, you are going to, um, you could possibly crash a scooter because um, it's, you know, the, the safety switch is there. So you're not riding off with the, the side stand down. So take one of your Allen screws 
and of course my hand is kind of in the way so the camera's not getting it. But I'm holding the switch and trying to get the Allen screw lined up with the little bracket. And it's a little bit difficult to kind of get one started. And once it starts in there, So get the screw started and then move up to the top one. Get that screw started. And they have the washers on them as well. You may need to move the switch around a little bit to find where it threads into the, um, the bracket because you can't really see anything that's going on up there. But you can move around, uh, just felt it drop in. So go ahead. I'm using a four millimeter Allen wrench right here. And then go back to our lower screw and go ahead and tighten that up. And go ahead and snug both those screws. They don't need to be overly tight, but. So the connector comes from that side stand safety switch, goes to the safety switch, which is located somewhere in this area. So short of like removing all the body work like Piaggio would recommend for this job, let's take a couple pieces off and and pry away and we'll be able to um, get just enough clearance to gain access to that connection. So take the floorboard screws off, just make it a little bit easier. Uh, you might want to have a magnet handy because those screws don't want to really come out of the floorboard. Even take that one out just to make it all that much easier. And carefully get a pry tool. Again, these, these tools, we sell these plastic pry tools. Uh, they're tool trim on the Scooter West uh, web store. And let me try to locate that connector. And I see it right. I'll try to pull enough of the forward out. I'm just pulling the plastic away and I'm gonna get the light. I'm gonna show you where that connector is. So you see that connector right there? The white connector. And that's the one that we need to get access to. And a lot of times I have a zip tie around it. You may wanna get a long diagonal pliers and cut that zip tie. So I got a hook tool. Why I'm holding the floorboard up like such right here, you could. A lot of times just pry it out of, out of its spot and free it. And use that loop tool and you can pull it almost all the way out. And another tip, you know, these plastics are pretty flexible. And if you're careful, you could lift this up. You put something like a screwdriver in here, the, the handle of a screwdriver. And it'll just give you just enough clearance. Believe me, even though it's tight clearances, it's a lot easier than taking off all the body work. So I have one pick tool like kind of looped around it and then you can see the little button tab on the connector. So go ahead and push it down and it, it separates no problem. So that's a little tricky to do. Like I said, there's some tricky steps in doing this whole job. You got those really tight clearance screws, um, but they didn't, they made it more for the professional to have these installed at a dealership, but as you can see, I'm kind of walking you through some of the tips to do this if you're doing it at home as a do-it-yourself or, or maybe you're shopping, you have no idea because guess what? You open a package with the side stand, there's no instructions with it. Um, the next thing is I routed the, uh, the, the connector through here and it's pretty close, just enough room. You might you know, just get your fingers in there and kind of feel your way and feed the connector. You don't want to get it pinched between the floorboard and the metal frame. So make sure you take extra care when you're doing this job not to do something like that. And yeah, I was just working my way to grab the connector with my hand that's barely in here. Again, you probably do it a little easier if you just have a needle nose in there to grab it. 
So I'm going to get two needle nose in here and, and we'll do some uh, orthoscopic uh, surgery on this connector here. So get those two lined up. They're really, really close. And I probably am blocking all this, but I am really close at this point. There we go. There it is. So I used a pair of needle nose. That obviously worked better than me uh, trying to struggle with a pick and one needle nose. So now it's connected. Give it a tug, make sure it's tight. Now we can close up this uh, floorboard here. Get these pieces all back lined up again. Put the screws back in and we're pretty much done with the job. So just to prove that the side stand works, we'll start the scooter with the side stand up. And you can see it starts up. And I don't know, it's kind of a cool feature. You come to the stop, kick the side stand down and stops the motor. Then you can put it right down on the side stand. I'll show how that works on. And obviously it's not gonna allow you to crank over the scooter, so. So thanks for watching. That's kind of all the steps and uh, shortcuts I kind of figured out on the fly for installing a side stand kit. The original Piaggio side stand kit on the Liberty 50 or the Liberty 150. So pretty much any of the models made 2017 to current. Uh, we have these available at scooterwest.com. LT10, nice and easy part number. And it's a complete kit, has a side stand and that safety switch. Thanks for watching. This is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. Until next time.